guys, it's here. This is pre-patch. It's getting serious now. We have the official World of Warcraft survival guide for the 9.0 pre-patch expansion. Uh, I thought I'd better, uh, you better catch my first uh, first reactions to this. As I say, think it could be pretty spicy. Let's have a look. Welcome to the World of Warcraft survival guide for the Shadowlands pre-expansion patch coming out later this year. In this video, we'll take a look at upcoming features, including class changes, new character customization options, and a pre expansion event is good. that will have you facing off against the Scourge. We'll also give you a heads up oh about no. what content is going away once the pre-expansion oh no. patch goes live, Rip so you can add voice. them to your collection before time runs out. One of the first things you'll notice when you log- What is this? <laughs> Could they have not picked- a more just ridiculous character model. What? <laughs> I mean, yeah, Shadowlands is looking good, boys and girls. Looking good. <laughs> Log in are the new abilities and talents for your character, along with the return of several classic abilities removed in previous expansions. In Shadowlands, many iconic class defining abilities will be shared by every specialization, such as Shaman's Healing Stream Totem and nice. all of Rogue's poisons. Specializations will further empower abilities that match their theme, on top of getting some abilities of their own. We've also changed player character and NPC levels across the board as part of our streamlined... What the hell's Pandaria doing in it? This is back in Pandaria. Can we get to Shadowlands, please? ...faster leveling experience. Characters that were once level 120 will become level 50, and the new maximum level in Shadowlands is 60. As part of that, health, resources such as mana, and damage have been reduced across the board, and everything's Good been scaled down squish. roughly evenly. This should preserve your relative power while clearing both older and current content, and the overhauled level up experience will lower the amount of time it takes to reach max level. Boy, I do, I do hope they get ev all of the bugs smoothed out with the leveling before it actually goes live, otherwise it could be an absolute shit show. Also in the pre-expansion patch are our new character customization options. Now you'll have a wider variety of options to choose from to help make your character look the way you imagine them. For example, dwarves will have the- Hey up. Do we, uh, do, do, do we need, uh, do we need to put some blur in the edit for this, maybe? Can you guys control yourself? I know this is like extreme. Option to add tattoos reminiscent of the Wildhammer tribe. An undead. You know that's going to be the thumbnail for this video, by the way. <laughs> can change how much their bones are exposed to the world. You can access these either in the character creation screen when making a new character, or in the barber shop, where you can update the look or gender of your existing characters. We've also made some improvements to the in-game navigation system to help you keep your eyes on exploring the world rather than deciphering maps and mini-maps. The new UI will also indicate if your target is above or below you, so you know whether you need to climb a mountain or spelunk into a cave to reach your objective. <laughs> I, <laughs> I love the waypoint marker as well. <laughs> there is so little actual content coming in pre-patch that... <laughs> The, the waypoint marker is like the number one priority they're telling people about. This is brilliant. In the coming weeks, you'll be called upon to defend Azeroth from an undead invasion as the Scourge sweep across the land. Players will embark on a quest to establish a foothold in Icecrown, where the barrier between Azeroth and the afterlife has been shattered. It's good and to be prepare good. for the coming journey into the Shadowlands. This limited time event will only be available until Shadowlands is officially released. So make sure to log in to experience it and earn special rewards. When the pre-expansion patch goes live, a few features and rare items That's from Battle for Azeroth will become more difficult ever. to obtain or completely unobtainable, including the mighty Caravan Brutosaur. Can we get Fs in chat for the, uh, for the long boys? Fs in chat, people, Fs in chat. And the uncorrupted Voidwing mounts, You'll also no longer be able to earn corrupted gear, and any current corrupted oh, gear will be cleansed of its dark power, along with your legendary cloak's passive corruption mitigation. Rip. Be sure to check out our website for the full list of content going away at worldofwarcraft.com. Season four will also come to an end with the pre-expansion patch, so any rewards tied to it will be distributed shortly afterward. 
make sure to finish your seasonal goals to reap the rewards while you can. Of course, this is just a prelude for everything coming in Shadowlands. Soon, you'll be exploring new zones that take you into different facets of Azeroth's afterlife, pledging your soul to one of four oh, distinct covenants. It's so hard. Exploring high. the twisting corridors of Torghast, Tower of the Damned, and so much more. Check out our website at worldofwarcraft.com slash Shadowlands for more details. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you in the Shadowlands. Yes, yes you will. Yes you will. Welcome. Stop. Give that a big old fat thumbs up. Oh, the hype is here now. Now we need to get onto this. I can't wait. I can't wait.